Hi, hello, how y'all doing? Um, y'all know I'm coming with the reaction videos. Anytime my face looks all righty then again here's the warning i cuss i cusses i say foul shit if you don't like it please exit stage left it might get a little loud volume warning all of that blah 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 continue the video like this mean i'm coming with the reaction videos like it's it's happening <laughs> it's it's happening and this one I got, I got, I got questions. Like I got problems as to why my black people. What, what are y'all doing? What, what are y'all? What are y'all? What are y'all doing? And it, it's the black conservatives for me. I, I and normally I don't do politics. I don't care for it. I, it's just I'm black. <laughs> like I'm black. I'm a hundred percent black. Always been black. Was born black. And that's all I can tell you. It's it's the embarrassment for me. It's y'all are letting me down. Y'all are letting me down. And and I'm about to I posted, I shared this video to Facebook because it was real disappointing how how this good sis right here just totally just what? Like I'ma just we're gonna just watch the video. Let's just watch the video. Okay. I gotta gather myself. Okay. Let's go ahead and debunk this whole white privilege thing. Is there a white entertainment category on Netflix, Hulu, and Prime? No, but there is a black one. Is there a white owned restaurant category on Uber Eats? No, but there is a black one. Are white people being hired to fill a diversity quota in corporations and companies? No, but black people are. And is there a whole system of affirmative action for white students that puts them in colleges of which they are unfit to attend purely based on their race? No, but there is one for black students. And can white people go out and riot and loot and burn down businesses in the streets while being cheered on by the political left? No, but black people can. And white people, don't you dare say a word because you'll be labeled a racist. If you want to know who's in power in your country, think about who you cannot criticize. What? <laughs> you know what? You motherfuckers. Y'all, you are in embarrassment to your race. First of all, I look raggedy all the time, don't get me wrong, but um, ma'am, can you not come on the internet with the fuzzy braids uh, because, you know, you are, you know, have some type of black in you, which is why you got the fuzz, because it's, it's called natural hair that you got. Um, I'm going to need you to, if you're going to talk shit, then at least, like, kind of, you know, slick it a little bit, make it look more white, if, if that's what you want to do, if you want to call it white. Um, she said all these things, uh, but black people do. Black people have collections or whatever categories on Netflix and Hulu and whatever and all that. First of all, that's new. Okay, that that didn't happen until we made a big we made a big deal about Black Lives Mattering because they do. Because the country that you live in also does not like us. Okay, um, are black people dying on the streets? Yes. Are white people dying on the streets? No. Are white people killing, being killed by officers? No. But black people are. Like, girl, if you don't get your motherfucking ass up, stop embarrassing me. Stop embarrassing me. Why are you doing this? What? Why? What happened? What? What happened? I'm so disgusted. Like, every part of me is disgusted because I can't believe you brought your half black ass or, or whatever the case. She got to be half black. Got to be. Um, you brought your half black ass up on the internet and said that shit and believed it. As if your fellow counterparts are not dying. And as if the people that are killing them who are white not being arrested or serving any time or even getting probation hell some of them are still officers again like i got a problem with that i got a problem with that because where along the way did you you, you forgot who the fuck you was like where along the way did you forget where half your roots came from oh i was waiting 
See, that's the type of shit that pissed me off. I, I don't, like I said, I don't get into the politics and shit and all that bullshit. I'm just disappointed. Like, I'm so disappointed in us. Like, not in us, because I ain't do a goddamn thing. I'm disappointed in you and the other ones that are out there. Because it's another video coming that, that's, that's even worse than this one. It's, I'm even more disgusted with the next one than I am with this one. Because I'm sitting here looking at the at her talk. I watched that video so many times and I was like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Like, you, you gotta be fucking kidding me. So you don't know how hard it is to be black in America, clearly. Like, you're, you're basically saying there's no such thing as white privilege. So clearly, you ain't been paying attention to the world. Clearly, you don't you don't understand what's happening to us out here. You don't understand that that stepping outside as a black person is dangerous. You don't understand that even as a, as a black woman, especially as a you black and you a woman. I I just I I'm hurt. I'm hurt by the fact that you would think that bullshit is okay. Like, what in your right mind told you that the shit that you just said was okay? And then it's like, they'll label you a racist because it is racism. The fuck? And yes, white people can riot and get away. The Capitol riot. Y'all got away with the Had them people been black, it would have been casualties everywhere everywhere yes black people riot we loot we do all this we're angry we have every right to do that because of what's happening to us repeatedly over and over and over and has been happening to us for more years than any of us have been on this earth that are of my generation or my mama's generation my grandparents grew up in the civil rights era my grandparents were born in the 30s. So you disrespecting them and everything that they had to go through. Like you do realize that at one point in time, black people and white people wasn't even able to drink out the goddamn water fountain the same or the same water fountain. You do realize that black people were forced to sit at the back of the bus. Not the front, the back. You do realize that black people wasn't even allowed to go to white schools. It's segregation. You do realize that black people wasn't allowed in certain restaurants. But then you got the nerve to say, well, is that a category for white restaurants on DoorDash and all of that? No, but there's black ones. Because most of the restaurants that are owned that we go to are owned by white people. So yeah, we want to see the black restaurants because that was a motherfucking time when we wasn't even allowed in white people's establishments. Like, how can you say this knowing the history? Like, did you just skip that whole part? Because they don't teach you the shit in school. So obviously you got to do your own fucking research. We get one month out of the goddamn year to even talk about black history in school or in... Wait, pause. Y'all know what I just thought about? It'll be hella fucked up. If she went to a white restaurant and they wouldn't let her black ass in. Damn. I'm waiting for that day. And I hope that day comes. I hope it happens soon. I want to hear about that. In the world or in society or whatever. Like, I'm going to send her a couple documentaries she might need to look at. Because I can't believe you just said that shit. I'm so disappointed. And, and I got more videos to further prove my point as to why these two videos are wrong and fucked up. Hmm? Okay, so we're going to go to the next one that really just really got under my skin. This is Joel Patrick, and I'm tired of hearing about all of this fake victimization. You know, people talking about, oh, I'm black, I'm a victim. What are you even talking about? Like... You know, you're recording your video on a thousand dollar phone, you're wearing designer clothes, and you're talking about you're a victim. That makes zero sense to me. Go to Eastern Europe or go to Africa. 
you know, where people in Kenya, somebody's living on a dollar a day. That could be construed as a form of oppression or victimhood. But but here in America, where we have so much and, and yet we're ungrateful. It's so bad that people are like going around, like chasing issues to have an issue with. Last week, everybody was all upset at, at Morgan Wallen because he said something people didn't like. Imagine the level of privilege you have to experience when the worst thing that happens in your day is that you heard about someone else saying a racial slur. You didn't even hear it yourself, but you heard about Did he just say grateful? First of all, who who got who got designer clothes? Who? Let me see. This this came from Memphis, and it was it was about twenty dollars. I got on a, a regular shirt up under here. I live in the hood. I live in the hood. You hear that? You, the, the noise. That's outside. That I can't even record a video because I live in the hood, sir. Who, what do you mean we should be grateful? Who got that? I, uh, I got a thousand dollar phone I'm making payments on. You do realize that majority of the people that are out here in poverty are black, right? You do realize that majority of the people that are suffering in this country is black, right? I'm disgusted. Like, I'm so disgusted. It disgusts me so bad when black people do shit like this. Because I, I feel like you, a, like, yeah, you a traitor. <laughs> like, yeah, you a traitor, bro. Like, why, what made you think that was okay? I, I just can only imagine his background. Like, I really want, I got questions. I got questions as to your background. Because clearly you ain't been through the struggle. You clearly don't know what it's like to be black in America. Like, and the cold part is, bro saying this, right? He's still black. He still got black skin. He's still a black man in America. If he get pulled over right now, I don't care how you sound. I don't care who you know. I don't care if you got white boy Ryan next to you in the car. They are going to drag your motherfucking ass just because you black. I don't care. So clearly you ain't never been in a situation where you was discriminated against because you was black. But I guarantee you that day going to come and wake your ass up when you get pulled the fuck over. And they see that you're a black man in America. And they going to drag your motherfucking ass for some bullshit. Like not cutting on a turning lane signal or a turning signal, not stopping all the way at the stop sign, being two miles over the speed limit, DWB, driving while black. You are black in America, and if you don't wake the fuck up, you in for a rude awakening. Because I guarantee you, baby, ain't no belief, ain't no talking out of that shit. Your ass is black. You get pulled over by the wrong motherfucking cop. You either gonna get dragged out, beat up, or dead. And then what? Are you still gonna be grateful? Are you still gonna be saying the same thing that you're saying now? Be oh, what? your day gonna come. <laughs> it's going to come. Your, your day going to come. Your feeling of oppression is going to come. We are not playing the victim. We are the victims. Now, even though we are victims, I do agree that we don't have to act like victims. But see, that's the thing. Like, we need to use our voices. Yes, we are oppressed. And we need to do something about that. I don't agree with the whole sitting down. Oh my God, we, we, we're oppressed in the world. They don't like us. That we, we ain't nothing. We ain't worth nothing. I, I just, I don't know what to do. No. We are oppressed. But yes. White privilege is a thing. Yes. But you combat that with knowing who you are, believing who you are, and fighting for others that are like you. 
and you want to bring up people in other countries as if America is phenomenal, to, it's somewhere to be. Like, what? We don't, we, no. It's dangerous for us here. I guarantee you right now, if I go, let's say I go apply for a job. I had a concern of my hair being this color, my nails being this long. I can go in somewhere right now with, and I got Black Lives Matter pants on. I could go in somewhere right now dressed in all black with a hoodie, my hair a, a, a hot red with long nails, I'm automatically getting judged. If people see me on approach, just as a black woman dressed like this, I'm automatically ghetto. Even when I talk, because I do have a, a ghetto country vernacular when I talk. I'm automatically labeled as ghetto. I'm automatically labeled as ratchet. I'm already labeled as hood, just because I'm a black woman. Yet, they don't know that I am definitely equivalent to whoever, Becky, Karen, whatever. I'm probably at more smart than she is. But because of my skin color, I get judged based on that. They ain't never been through the struggle. <laughs> Y'all ain't never been through the struggle. Y'all don't know what it's like not wondering, sitting there not knowing where your next meal gonna come from. How you gonna pay the light bill? How you gonna feed your kids? Because you got a minimum wage job because you can't get a job nowhere else. You couldn't afford to go to college. You don't want to be in debt in student loans. You... Y'all don't know the struggle, and that's the issue. You don't know your history, and you don't know the struggle. So while y'all sitting there saying that, hmm, all that shit y'all just said, okay, let's play some other videos back that refutes exactly what it is you're saying. Because racism doesn't exist. People aren't racist. White people aren't racist. We should be grateful. Oh, okay. Okay. So I want you to tell me if this is why we should be grateful. Okay? So let's roll, let's roll that footage. Get the fuck out of here. I pay a thousand dollars a month here. You can't you you, you make a thousand dollars a two months. Fuck you. How do you know that? You're a dumb black yeah. fucking nigga bitch. Fuck you. What's your name? Yeah, and I'm racist. And I'm a racist mother. I got an AK-47 right now in my fucking goddamn car. I'll blow your fucking head off. Fuck you, tired of you. I'm tired of you. Oh, but we should be grateful. But we should be grateful. This man just said he got an AK-47 and he'll blow your fucking head off. He clearly just said he was racist. He said fuck, fuck black people. He fucking with the DoorDash black lady driver in his neighborhood. She doing her job. And then you see how he bragged about the money in the beginning? But we supposed to be grateful? But we supposed to be grateful that we got motherfuckers telling us they gonna blow our head off. Hmm, make it make sense. I, I, need, I need somebody to make it make sense. Okay, that... We'll just, we'll find more, because there's so much more out there. Okay, so let's go with another one, shall we? Because they're out there. Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. It don't? No. Niggas don't matter. Yeah, y'all stalkers, nigger. You're a baby snippery. Okay. Y'all are not us. Okay. Who bad is white? And don't want to be. So you just had two white people say that they're racist out loud. 
and said niggas don't matter. So for the two black motherfuckers that were sitting there defending this bullshit, Matt, have y'all looked at these videos? Like, are y'all doing y'all research or no? Like, y'all just saying whatever the fuck come in y'all head? Like, was y'all taught this? I feel like this shit was passed down. I, I feel like it was passed down. Because, why? Make it make sense. Why? I'm disappointed. I'm, I'm disappointed. I really am. Like, this is some bullshit. When I seen them goddamn videos, I said, I know you fucking lying. But I'm not really surprised, though, because there's some out there. It's black conservatives out there. Like, they actually do exist. It's, it's black people that hate black people. Like, on some racist shit. Not even just, I ain't talking about black on black crime. I'm not talking about, like, two different gangs beefing. I'm saying it's really black people out there that hate other black people. And what you fail to understand is when you hate black people, you hate yourself. When you talk down on black people, you talking down on yourself. Because I don't know if you looked in the mirror lately, fam, but you the same skin color as me. You got the same ethnic background as me. So the same people you hate is the same person you are. That's self-hatred. That's what you call self-hatred. You hate us, you hate yourself. So you might want to take another look in the mirror, boo-boo. Because your skin color is the same as mine. When you fill out that application, and they, it, you got to check black, don't you? You got to check African-American, don't you? Oh, okay. I was just, I, you know, I'm just asking. <laughs> you know, I was just asking. I mean, maybe, you know, I'm. But last time I checked, you was black. Last time I checked, I was black. So if you hate me, you hate you. So y'all better look. You, I, I don't. I, the stay woke thing was never really my whole saying, but um, wake the fuck up, wake the fuck up, and stop letting people get in your head with this bullshit. Because people don't get in my head with bullshit. I, I come to my own opinions and say my own things on my own based off of what I see and when I do my research and I come to my own opinion. And sometimes I have the unpopular opinion on a lot of things. But nevertheless, it's my opinion. And again, these are their opinions. Y'all know how I feel about opinions. That's how they feel, that's their opinion. But it's fucked up. It's fucked up because you supposed to be you supposed to be us. You supposed to be with us. So for you to sit there and be comfortable with them killing us every day, with them treat, they treat us differently in schools. They automatically assume that the white person is going to make better grades than the black person. Or that the black person, the black boy or the black girl in school is going to be worse, going to be bad, going to be terrible. Like I've literally heard of white boys, and this happened to somebody that I know. White boy called a black boy a nigga. Black boy responds, what you say to me? Guess who got in trouble? The black one. I, I'm just, I'm so disappointed. I can't. I'm disgusted. Y'all, y'all disgust me. Like a lot. And that, and that, I can't, I can't get with that. I can't, I can't fuck with it. I, I can't fuck with it. I can't. I'm trying to can and I just cannot. I ain't even trying to can. I just cannot. It's not happening. I can't fuck with it. But I had to point it out there. Because I literally posted that video on Facebook. And I'm like, did she really just get on here with the fuzzy braids and say that shit? Then I was like, you know what, let me go back. After I seen the second one, I say, oh, so this is a thing. Because there's a page for this. Oh, okay, so this needs to be a YouTube video. All right, bet. I got it. I'll see y'all in the next one. I I'm coming back with a, with a funny one. I'm I'm a back I'm a back with a funny one because I know y'all like damn sis been going hard. I am, and is. But I'm about to hit y'all with some funny shit though because this shit threw me. Y'all just gotta wait till tomorrow to get it.
All right, till then, bye.